Uh, Veritable is asking, are actual belief territories eventually leading to the 3D Earth incarnation? No. No, absolutely not. There are a lot of belief systems out there, whatever you experience in the astral. And even like, let's say, physical body falls asleep and you tune into another reality. And that you that you've tuned into quite often will be your another life, another aspect of you that is living there simultaneously. A whole different realm. Nothing related to the physical earth. Might not even be in the Milky Way. But you're somewhere out there doing stuff. And you're like, do I remember something about this life? What did I do like a few hours ago? And the memory will come back. The same as, it's like, your body keeps memory. So the moment you ask something about it, like, what did I do a few years ago? Because the body has experienced it and the body, body contains the memory, you will regain it in this part of you. So physical body falls asleep. You shift to another reality. You connect to another aspect. Now you're living from it. Because in your dreams, you're like, you're, you're in the body doing stuff. Sometimes you look differently. Sometimes you're in the same body. But you will always know what's been happening in that world. If you're awake enough. If you ask questions. And so when you have that information and you're engaging, you can make your consciousness like more of a, and, and that life and that aspect, more of a primary thing. So now more of your attention goes in there. And that life... It's not the astral. It is real as can be. It is physical. It doesn't have to do anything with Earth and incarnating. You're already living somewhere else. You, you, you might be on a spaceship. You might be tuning in to your other aspect and you're one of the Pleiadians, one of the Irma. You wake up in a, in a, in a pot, for example. You're one of the Lyrans. You're one of the fighters. You're the Galactic Federation. You find yourself in a lot of different scenarios and it's as real as can be because it is real. You are experiencing it for real. And so... Just because you found yourself in that body doesn't mean that eventually you're going to incarnate here. And even if you never were incarnated here and you were in other realities, it's not going to lead you here to Earth. A lot of those realities have different belief systems, different physics, different goals. It's more of a playground. When you play a video game, does it mean that you're going to be stuck to it forever? And not going to be able to log out? Or do you have enough control to where, oh, that was fun, I'm going to do something else, I'm, I got bored, I have to eat. And you just go and leave it. So, there's a lot of realms out there. And we can look in terms of, like, you know, actual realms, or even when you lose your dream and stuff like that, when you connect to just different realities, you can be out there, do stuff, fully engaged, the whole life, whether you spend a few minutes, a few hours, a few months, a few years, a whole lifetime out there, can have full blown memories of it all, full blown experience, as real as can be, physical. You're feeling, touching, and smelling, and all the stuff. It's all there. Doesn't mean you're gonna end up here on Earth. No, you just chose to experience that world, that belief system, and then you get out of it, and then you can into something else. It's also like um similar to changing uh TV channels or radio channels. One click, one button, one knob turn, and you are with a whole different view, with a whole different show, a whole different event. You're not stuck there. You click a button and boom, you're in another place. You click a button and you turn it off. And then you can ponder what do you want to do next. We're here on Earth because one, our perception got, or like our consciousness perceived things in a limited, in a limiting way. For some people. Like if you're feeling, oh, I'm trapped. I am stuck. I can't move. I can't do anything. You see yourself as unable to. And a lot of beings will like, look, that being just started limiting itself. You with your own beliefs and perception create a reality around you that you are something that's limited. And now when you, with your beliefs and perception, limit yourself, because it's like watching a movie you turn in Saw or something, or a horror movie, it is not happening to you. It is even that experiment where a person has uh, two hands on table, and one is a real physical hand, and the other one is a doll. And you might have seen a person hit the doll hand with a hammer, and the person jumps because it assumes it feels pain, and it goes with a hand like, damn, I actually kind of felt it. No, you did not. You assume stuff. 
you assume that that hand is yours, you created a perception that this is you, and it hit you, and it hurt you, and now you feel it. There's a lot of evidence where people are, let's say, watching uh, fire or magma or something super hot, and someone pours cold water on the skin, and it leaves burn marks because person perceives something hot and assume that this is hot as well. And that perception creates a reality where you yourself manifest something that's completely against what it was. You got cold water, but it left burn marks because you assume that it burned you. Do you understand how powerful you are? And how your consciousness, when you, when you perceive that you are limited, do you understand what you're doing? You're putting yourself in a box saying, I cannot do stuff. I am limited. I am a victim. I am stuck. I cannot create stuff because they put a blindfold on you and you assume that you're not seeing stuff. They put a blindfold on you, just a black screen in front of you and you're like, I'm trying to create the reality. Well, it's, it's there. You're creating it. It's just behind the black screen that they put in front of your face. You're not seeing it. You assume that it's not working. And your assumption and your perception led you to being trapped here because you perceive that you are no longer creating you are no longer seeing you are no longer free and something's wrong with you and you put yourself in a lot of frames and this identity that you're just limited and you super powerful creator being just limited yourself and this is the only way they can trap you is if they create a perception and a story that you buy into. This is the only way they can limit you. So when we look at this, like, okay, well, how do I get out? It's all about you. All about what you create. So, yeah, a little spiel out there, but I think I think you get the point. I think you get a point. You're creating it all. At any point in time, you choose to manifest what you want. You choose to either be in a vessel and identify as something and go somewhere and do something. But as long as you believe that you can create, you will. As long as you believe that you're unable to, you will be unable to. But you are creating everything from start until end.